In 2008, the board of managers took a chance on me and made me the interim CEO. Nine months later, they made me the permanent CEO. Every day I walked into this building, I tried to be certain that I was meeting their expectations. I tried to make sure that I did that for employees. I tried to make sure I did that for our patients. And I tried to do that for our taxpayers. Every day, I wanted to give this place 100%. We came up with three basic rules, and those three basic rules changed our culture. We created pride. We created an environment that we could all be proud of. Every score we had increased. Everything that we did seemed to work. I'm proud of JPS and I'm proud of where we've come. Every day I came in the door, I always wanted to be certain that I gave JPS 100%. This is not a place that you give 90% or 80% to, it's 100%. About nine months ago, my father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. My mom, the very next day, fell down and broke her hip. That's challenging. If I have any gift, if I have any quality, it's because my parents gave it to me. I now need to give 100% to my parents. I know that I'm losing my dad. <laughs> and that's, um, that's tough. That's challenging. When I was a kid, every baseball game, every church event, every function, every silly thing I did, my parents came to. I would see them in the back. My parents would go to one function and then immediately leave there and come to my function because those are the kind of parents they were. To me, I want to be the son to them as they were the parents to me as I grew up. That makes it challenging to give 100% to JPS every day. So I've asked the board and the board has accepted to allow me to retire. Won't be easy. And there's no way that it will be easy to walk out the door at JPS. But you do it because, in my book, family comes first. And that's important. I have a family here at JPS, and I've done everything possible every day to give this place what it needs. And hopefully I've succeeded but I've also done that with an incredible team of people around me that are the greatest folks I've ever worked with. From the executive team, to the environmental services team, to the OR, to the ED, to our community clinics, there's none better. So in March, I will be retiring from JPS. And in the meantime, I will give JPS everything that I've got. I wanna tell you how much I appreciate you. I want to tell you I love you. Thank you all.